Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to write a Java program for a game called Fizzbuzz. Let us first understand the problem statement. We are given a number n starting from 1 till n. We need to print Fizz if the number is usable by 3, print Buzz if the number is usable by 5, and print Fizzbuzz if the number is usable by both 3 and 5. And we will print the number itself if the if none of the above conditions meets, right? So let us write the Java program for this now. Let me create a new class. I'll call this as Fizzbus. We'll take main method, finish. And the first thing which we'll do is we'll read a number. That is, we wanted to read the value n, right? That we'll read it from the user. And this I'm going to do using scanner class import this scanner class from Java util package. And n is an integer value, right? So n dot next int. So we'll just write a message to enter a number. Now we have a number n. So we can start looping from one, n less than or equal to n. What we wanted to do first, we'll check if the number is divisible by three, right? If it is divisible by three. So how do we know if a number is divisible by three is so if dividing by it by three, so it should leave the remainder as three. So when we use this modulus symbol, it gives us the reminder. When I is divided by three, whatever the remainder we get. So that we are comparing it with zero. So if it is equal to zero, we can conclude that the number is divisible by three. So what we wanted to do here is, so we wanted to print fizz, right? According to the problem. And if the number is divisible by five, right? Then we wanted to print as buzz. And if the number is divisible by both three and five, right? If it is usable by three and if it is usable by five, then we should print it as Fizzbus. And if none of the conditions meets, of the conditions meet, we need to print the number itself, right? Let's print the number here. We'll leave one space and then we'll print the number itself. And instead of using println method, let's use print method so that uh, we can have all the numbers uh, in one line. All right, once we are done with this loop, right? Looping from one to n, then we'll close the scanner object. Let us execute the program now. Let me give the number as 20 and we can see here so, okay, let's leave some space here before printing phase buzz or phase buzz. And we can see the output here, the clear alignment here now. So you can see one, one is not uh, divisible by three, five and both three and five, right? So it displayed one, the number itself, two, fine. And three, three is divisible by three, right? So we wanted to print phase, fine. Four. Uh, we can see the number is displayed as four as it is not usable by three, five, right? And we can see buzz here as five is usable by five and so on, right? So we, we can check here if a number is usable by three and five, we wanted to print face bus, but we don't see anything printed here as face bus. Though here after 14, uh, the number we get is 15, which is usable by both three and five, but still we are uh, getting uh, output as face here instead of face bus. This is because, so you can see it here, as uh, we are checking the condition, the first condition is if the number is usable by three, right? So as this condition is met, as 15 is usable by three, so it displayed fizz and it just ignored all the other conditions as that's how the if else if loop works, right? So how to correct this is, we just need to swap these conditions, right? So first have this condition here, sorry. 
we just need to have this condition if the number is usable by both 3 and 5 so let's have this condition here if it is usable by both 3 and 5 we are going to print fizzbus and if it is usable by only 3 we will we'll actually print fizz so with this what happens is so let's verify first verify the output i'll just give 20 here and you can check the output uh, of uh, other numbers but let's go to 15 15 this time we can see instead of 15 we have phase bus so what happened here is the first condition is verifying the number if it is usable by both 3 and 5 right so as 15 is usable by both 3 and 5 we got phase bus right and uh, if it if it is not like if it is either not usable by 3 or 5 this condition will fail and the rest of the conditions will will be verified right if it is usable by 5 bus will be displayed and if it is usable by 3 phase will be displayed so this is how we can actually solve the problem of FISBUS. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.